In this video, I'm going to resize these photos I recently took during a trip to Nepal. If I click on the information icon, you can see they're currently pretty large, so I'm hoping to shrink them down to about 1920 by 1080 pixels. I'll start by showing you the manual way to do this, but I'll also demonstrate a way you can completely automate the process using quick actions. The manual way is to select all of your photos here in preview, click on tools in the menu and select adjust size. Here you have a few options. You can set a custom size like so, or Apple gives you some preset sizes. So I could have just as easily selected 1920 from the list here. You can also change measurements. So if you don't like measuring in pixels, you might prefer to work in percentages. And you can see that reducing my photos to 1920 by 1080 actually scales them down to about 47 or 48% of their original size. When you're happy, click OK and your photos will be resized. If you're not happy with them, you can undo the change by selecting them and pressing Command Z or Z or undo from the edit menu. Remember to hit file and save to confirm your changes. If you have a lot of photos or you resize images regularly as I do, you can automate the whole process by creating a quick action. You can see we already have some pre-configured quick actions for photos such as converting the file type of an image and you can remove the background. However, to create a new quick action to resize a photo, we're going to use the Automator app. Select Quick Actions from the options and hit Choose. Within the automation tool, we basically work from left to right. So we start by choosing photos from the library. We're now presented with a heap of different automations we can create for working with our photos. And the one we'll be using is Scale Images. So we'll drag that to our workflow window. We then receive a warning that the automation will modify the original file, in this case, our original photo. So it's giving us the option to create a copy and preserve the original, which in this case, I think is a good idea, so I'll choose Add. Now you can see we have added two elements to our workflow. First, it's going to create a copy of our photo and then it will resize it. By default, it's going to save the new photos to our desktop, but I'm going to have them saved to a subfolder of the desktop that I'll call Resized. It's then just a matter of setting the new size of our photos, and as within preview, you can measure in pixels or percentages. I'm going to stick with pixels, and the number here reflects the width of my image, so I'll set this to 1920. And that completes the setup of our automation, and now it's just a matter of saving our workflow. I'll call it Resize Photos and exit out of the Automator app. Now if I open my Photos folder and select them all, I can right click and in quick actions I have my new automation. The first time I run my automation I'm asked to give permission for Finder to access my desktop, which is fine, and you'll notice that in the menu bar a little cog confirms that the automation is processing. Once the cog icon disappears the job is complete, and if I open my new folder here are my resized photos, all scaled down to 1920 by 1080. So that is how to resize an image in Mac without using any additional software. If you're wondering what the timer was in the top right corner of the video, well on this channel I aim to get straight to the point, giving you just the facts without any extra fluff. If that's something you appreciate, then please do give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tutorials on all your favourite apps and devices. If you have a question or recommendation for a video, I would love to hear from you, so do drop me a line in the comments section below. And you might also be interested in learning how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch, or how pass keys are set to replace all of our passwords. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.